Hello and welcome. With us today we have Professor Victor Gregg, consultant pediatrician and cardiologist, who will be speaking to us about the WASP concept. Professor Gregg, thank you for being with us here today. What can you tell us? Pleasure. Write a scientific paper is a course that we have been organizing since 2010. The course, um, we felt a huge need for this course because people learn the skills of paper writing piecemeal. So there are many skills involved. So finding material to publish, gathering data, dealing with ethics, data protection, data analysis, data presentation at conferences, writing an abstract, presenting a PowerPoint, dealing with editors, dealing with rejection. So these skills that are required to write a paper are many, and we put them together in an intensive three-day course. The unique thing about this course is that all of the statistical analysis is done in Excel through spreadsheets which we have created over the years and we have downloaded and tweaked and all of the analysis remains in Excel. Why? Because we feel people are very comfortable in this very familiar piece of software which everyone has on their computer so it's easier for them to do quite sophisticated analysis should they need to in Excel. We have been doing the course since 2010. We have also done WASP, Write a Scientific Paper in London, it has its own website. We plan in 2018 to do this course for the first time with the Malta Union of Nurses and Midwives and Muir Men who have endorsed the course. And for the first time, this course will deal with a mixed methodology for statistical analysis. So it will be both qualitative and quantitative. We also have plans to do the course in Bahrain next year, in 2018, and perhaps also in the UK and in Milan. But this is in conjunction with various universities overseas, so we are still in discussion with regard to these other courses. Very encouragingly, we have the endorsement of the Malta Association of Medical Doctors, the Orthopaedic and Trauma Surgeon Association, the Maltese Pediatric Association, the Malta Board and College of Aesthetics and Gynecology, and so on and so forth and very encouragingly also the European Board and College of Obstetrics and Gynaecology who have reviewed the course and encouraged us and indeed they pointed out and we now have it on the website that we didn't have the learning objectives for each course for each lecture for each course so should anyone wish to see what the learning objectives are for each and every lecture they are available on the website and if anyone wants to register for the upcoming course in March again all they need to do is go on the website and fill in the form What's extremely encouraging to us is not only the endorsement we have gained, but also the fact that the journal Early Human Development has accepted to publish all of the talks that are given in WASP as papers in their session on continuing medical education, which we find very encouraging. So all the talks will be there as peer-reviewed papers. Thank you, Prof. Greg. I wish you best of luck in your current endeavour. And I also invite the audience here, all those who wish to register, visit the website shown here under and participate. Thank you for your Thank time. You.